the things that life has given me. Brandy, since I got my Clemens. Kyle, who is working on a Saturday on Brown's playoff Saturday. Okay, give me a second. Hold on, hold on. If you're new here, welcome. This channel is everything about home decor, DIY, self aesthetics, all the things really. Everything that life has given me since I got my Clemens. And today we have my lovely mother here with us. We are going to bake a, for right now, we're starting off with baking a pineapple upside down cake, but with cheesecake in the center of it. And we're just making that for as our sweet to bring to the playoff Saturday party. Playoff Saturday, yeah. So, I don't know, I gotta get readjusted and acquainted with my camera because I haven't been talking to y'all like I should, but we're getting back on our game. I say this all the time, but only I can hold myself accountable. We are in a rush, so I'm going to just show as we make this um, cake, but I'm also gonna show y'all some things I got from Home Goods because we did stop there. We bought some, what are these called, Mom? Spring pans. Spring form pans for our cake. I bought two nine inch ones. They are like, I like the color. They're not just gray. They're kind of like a bronzy color. And then we got, we got this cute little heart from Home Goods. It was $14.99. It's a marble. It's like so heavy. I love the uh, grayish, greenish tones in, in the marble. And that's why I got it. I'm gonna layer it, of course, with my little checkered cutting board. So it's gonna go. Actually, I'm not. Just doesn't seem safe. No, it's not safe. But if I move the cutting board, I don't know. I don't know where it's going yet, but it was really cute, so we got it. I would have layered it, but there's just not enough space behind that to make it safe to layer it the way I want. We'll figure it out, no worries. Um, then I also got, we got some of these like Nespresso dupe little, um, what are they called? Cake cups. They're not cake cups because they're Nespresso, but whatever. Comes with 10 inside of here for $4. Y'all, really? It's a steel Nespresso. It's just a name, and that's really how I look at it. My coffee tastes just as good with this, with my steamed milk and my whatever flavoring I put in it. Caramel, vanilla bean, apple. It doesn't matter. Like, coffee's coffee. Anyways, um, we also got Scrub Daddies from there, and they were $6.00 for the extra large size. I'm gonna have to actually compare it to what the smaller ones that we normally get cost, but I figured we try it out. More Nespresso things. And then I'm like all into Olipop right now. So I wanted to try this brand that was sold at Home Goods. It's called Maya Well. I'll tell y'all what it tastes like. I'm actually about to pop it open because I have a tummy ache, raspberry cucumber, and then we also got pineapple mango. So I'll tell y'all how this tastes. Hopefully it's like really good, but we'll see. That's it. We're about to start making this pineapple upside down cake. Hope you enjoy the footage and we'll just, mom's gonna be here for a few days. We got some shopping to do. We need to go get some perfume and check out the stores. We also have a couple home projects, so stick on. to bake in my baking bag like I want to I'm gonna get me one of those um, cool mixers that you see that stay up on the counter and it's gonna be pink no it's not gonna be pink but that'd be cute how do you feel Bump. dad had to call and get some stuff off his chest what did he say he just you know he had to talk out his nerves man he's, he's over there packing up what's that because of the game too? oh yeah yeah which I would probably be the same way this but is I just four grams of added sugar. Let's just compare to Olipop. Oh, yeah. See, Olipop only has two grams, so it's already not my... See, here, put these on. See how much... I'm not grams. happy about it. How much I have? But it's $2. Let's try it. 
See, but your vision, though, like you said, you can see far. So my thing is seeing far. So yeah, oh, okay. it's not going to do anything for me. Oh, okay. Don't get it. Yeah. Th this? Not so it. Maybe not once it's cold, cold, I'll come back. But close, I can't see let me put one in the refrigerator. Yeah, up close, that? it clears my vision on my left eye. Let's try again. Don't get this. Save your money. I also thought I'd show y'all that mom took down all the ornaments off of the big tree, organized it for us. All the Christmas stuff is down. And I got this off of Amazon, a Christmas, let's see what I like. Yeah, Christmas uh, storage box so that the glass ornaments can go in here. The shatterproof ones just easily go inside that little thing. And then she also took down the tree up there so she took down the tree up there so we are good to go christmas is officially down it looks very bare but we're gonna redo it all up later just not today this is what it's looking like so far this is just the topping of the cake got melted butter brown sugar pineapple pieces i do not like cherries so there are no cherries on the top of our pineapple upside down cake. It's yeah, she's the sunlight behind. She is sifting the flour. Three cups and a third of flour. How many teaspoons are inside of a tablespoon? Who knows? One and a half. Is in a I mean one half U.S. teaspoon. screenshot the recipe and put it up there for y'all so y'all can see what I'm looking at how much milk because that'd be fun um, one cup of milk and then I'm gonna have to pop open the pineapple juice okay. we've got the vanilla bean paste it goes. how much are you using that it says two tablespoons We went to Aldi to get all of these ingredients because ain't nobody spending a ton of money on ingredients that's going inside of a cake. You like to bake? Well, sometimes. If it's something I like to eat, yeah. Mm. If it's not what I want to eat, no. <laughs> you didn't bake often growing up. Mm. Just sweet potato pies and cobblers but nothing beyond that we didn't make much in the house that's all I like yep okay and the only thing we haven't done are yes. 
yeah, the X, two X. That's it. Mm-hmm. X saying. Mix it. More. I know. You're supposed to do it one at a time. They didn't tell me that. Okay. <laughs> I know that from baking. <laughs> do one egg at a time. reason why I want to make this is because I love Cheesecake Factory's oh my gosh um pineapple upside down cheesecake it's like so good to me and Kyle I got it I didn't start getting it until Kyle and I started doing our Cheesecake Factory dates and love it so we're gonna cheat a little bit on the cheesecake part and do like easy cheesecake versus like the one that you bake in the oven we're gonna do a non-baked cheesecake in the center but for the most part we're making it like as the recipe calls for and if I can if I really like this shoot Cheesecake Factory maybe put out a business you did the sugar right the regular sugar I have a cup of regular sugar where is it yeah I did that okay it's, out. it's right there okay No, don't add. Going out of order, girl. I'm sure you didn't forget nothing else, little lady. That was it. You don't need to get over here. Well, I don't want y'all to see. Go, 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 go. Only two thirds. So now we're going to start working on the cheesecake. We're going to put the cheesecake together, have it sitting and ready. And yeah. Okay, so now I am poking holes in my cake because I am going to mix them. This is going totally off of the recipe, by the way. We are not following double, the rules anymore. Double stick one hole and it'll make it bigger. Okay, double stick like that. Yeah. Like, I think, like but their holes don't be big. Okay, they, holes but that's be big like, enough. Like this. Okay, so we're going to put some holes in these cakes. And we're now melting some butter with some pineapple juice so we can really get that pineapple flavor all through this cake. And we're just going to pour it, pour it all in here. Are you ready for me, Mom? And so remember, these are like the bottoms of the cake, so it's okay that they have holes in them. You, can't, you won't be able to see this. but it was very little. This is cheesecake. Okay. If you see it, scream it. Aquaphor. I found it. Secured. All right, we're now trying all of, of these fragrances. I already have Queen Bee. I love her, um, but I was recommended to Magnolia Violet and then also Cocoa Blush. 
I mean coffee cloud, sorry, coffee cloud. I'm gonna go ahead and get it, but they only have the travel spray. And then um, I also was recommended to this brand, Finery. I'm gonna try flower bed because I like the smell. I just sprayed it in the store. And this one is supposed to mimic the Billie Eilish um, perfume, which it has like a musk, musk spell to it. And I really like it. So we're gonna do that. And this way, I'm spending my money at Target versus going to Ulta and being overwhelmed by all the perfumes. I'm going to save some money here. And then if I like these, I can go with the bigger brands. That's my goal. Okay, Target. Oh, this is light, too. That could be a good travel bag. That's really yeah, cute. I got some cute I little nice totes. Because mine doesn't close like this. Mm hmm No, I'm not taking a picture. I'm just, you were talking. <laughs> Yeah. That's oh, that's cute too. It's, it's, yeah, it's like, the, uh, this is good. Texas is so funny with their hats and their gloves. I just find this Texas hilarious. All right, we're going to keep going. We need to get over to, because now I didn't spend all this money on <laughs> perfumes that I shouldn't be. But I am trying to build up the collection. So then I found my husband likes to let dishes soak and I'm tired of it because we have this mat that I thought he was going to like, like let the dishes dry off and then put the mat away, but he never puts it away. So I just need to find something that's like aesthetically pleasing for the dishes to sit in. And this is literally amazing. $25, so we're getting it. Yeah, that's going. Magnolia section in our tar Target is stopped. Mm -hmm. She stopped. Like, whoa. Pots are so nice. I like the clay one, but that's do not big so enough. so much with me. that. I can put that in my guest bedroom, but let's stay focused. Ooh. I said let's stay focused and then I see stuff like this. I love this artwork. Yeah, I did. Oh, I see some right here. Like, I want this. I want this, but I want to buy both of them at the same time. I don't want to get it online. That would be cute on my couch. All right, so we're going to go with some clear ones. We got three clear ones. And then we got these. And we're going to intertwine all of this with our brown. And we're going to see how it looks. If I don't like the black with the brown, then we'll take the black back and we'll just go to Walmart and get the home edit brown ones so that it can keep going with the aesthetic. Immediately. Love. Jesus. That's so me. Alright, so we are looking to get some organizers. I don't know how I feel about baskets because I feel like baskets like this are too deep and I can't see enough. I want it more open. Yes! This is so cute. Alright girl, we're back. We's back from Tourjay. Went to Target, Walmart, no Alta. It's too freaking cold outside. 14 degrees. Nah. It's so cold. Um, and that's coming from my Chicago mama who's like, we, can, we ain't doing this. Um, yeah, I think we just went to Target. Oh, and Pesma. So, from Target, y'all seen that I was looking at the finery. I ended up just picking up the flower bed um, fragrance. The notes of this. I don't even know what the notes of it are. But it smells so good. I'm really just trying to build up my collection here and there. And then I also got the Coffee Cloud, as y'all seen probably in the clips already. But whatever. I'm watching Love Island, uh, season, I don't know, the 2023 season of USA. So far, I like it. I'm only on episode, like, two or three. 
and I like Destiny so far. She's super honest. Honestly, I like both of the black girls. KK is cool. I just need to see more from her. The guys are pretty handsome, except for there's this white dude on there, and like they just need to take him off the show. This is not for him. This, maybe Christian mingle, Christians mingle, but this this is not for him. Or maybe like what's the cowboy ones? I don't know. Anyways, seems like it's gonna be a good season. Generally, I don't like Love Island USA. It just don't seem as authentic as the UK ones, but it's okay. So now we're smelling coffee cloud. Let me see what this is. What's the notes on this before I? I just picked it up because somebody recommended it on TikTok. Balance Brave with cozy style. I don't think. Oh, bergamot, espresso, and cedar wood. Let me put this on my. Like, so the girls was trying this in the store. They had to be. They're very happy it's just a travel size. Gotta let the alcohol dry down on it. Mmm. Mmm. That smells really good. <laughs> that smells good. Yeah, I like that. This is more of my date night type of vibe. This coffee cloud, I would definitely put this on for a date night. This one... I'm deaf flower bed. I think this one's a date night too as well. I have one of them already. I can't remember. But that one, I don't know. That's sexy. Flower, I just try to sniff this. Flower bed was really sexy, but so is coffee cloud. I don't know. I'm going to tell y'all which ones I feel like I can wear more on a day-to-day -day basis versus a date night. Just so we can see the vibe. I also... Picked up some Aquaphor. Aquaphor, if you don't know, putting on Aquaphor in like the delicate spaces like on your wrist where you put your perfume, on your neck, um, just places where people can truly smell. Putting Aquaphor before you put the perfume on will make the perfume like last all day. Um, I showed y'all in the clips that I got the wire copper rack, but it doesn't look good with all of my gold that I have going in here. So I'm gonna return that, I'm really sad about it. I'm gonna look on Amazon. Let's see if we can quickly do it. If we can find like, so it had copper and wood, which is clearly the vibe that we going for in this kitchen. We got everything we needed for, for the pantry, or at least like to start it off. So we're gonna do that after we eat our lunch. I also made for, or we might do it tonight because mom's going to make some soup. So maybe tonight we will empty out the pantry. I made some buffalo chicken bites. If you tried the Sonic buffalo chicken bites, then you probably were as in love as I was. Literally fire. Literally the best chicken bites I've ever had in my life. So I call myself like making a dupe of it. So here's my first, my first batch of them. They're so good, y'all. So this is what they this is what they look like. And I would say I'll show y'all the recipe that I created it. I would say the only thing that I haven't perfected is the type of wrap that it goes in. I think it needs to be in a puff pastry wrap or empanada wrap. I use one time wrap this time around so we'll keep testing it out and once we perfect it perfect it i'll do it on camera but for now i've just been putting my own, my own homemade buffalo chicken dip inside of wonton wraps and then to satisfy that craving with some ranch girl so good we were looking up the wire rack let's make sure we get that everybody who was outside today Either you were a true Texan and you were showing it because you don't have no coat on. What are you doing, sis? Or you were driving crazy because the Cowboys played today. And you were trying to get in and out. Either way, go. Texans need to stay in the house when it's anything under 30 degrees. Honestly, just stay home because y'all can't drive. They drive crazy. There's no ice on the ground. There's no snow on the ground. What you driving crazy for? It makes sense. So just stay home. Let the Midwesterns. 
who then transplanted themselves here, let us handle the stores on these days. Let's just make it a group effort. I think we all will be a little happier. Go. I'm gonna have to call up Joanna Gaines myself and let her know, like, you were onto something, but she just missed the mark. The copper was cute, but, mm, I found one for plates. Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna find that. At least not right now. <clears throat> I couldn't do one of these shows because I'm not ever gonna kiss on camera. Like, I need this kind of leave. Immature at its finest. All right, y'all. We gonna talk in a little bit because I just wanted to up update you at this moment. We're gonna get into. We're gonna get into this pantry in a bit. So, what's up, y'all? I'm sure it's evident that it's a new day or another day. Um, I stopped recording after so basically the pineapple upside down cheesecake didn't come out the way we want it because the top of it well the centerpiece the cheesecake we should have put it in the oven we didn't put it in the oven we couldn't put the second layer of the cake on top of it which was fine because at the end of the day we just put we ghetto fight it i don't even know y'all we took the pineapples from the second part of the cake put it on top of the cheesecake. We still layered the cheesecake on that one solid piece of cake. I don't know, hopefully the picture can help explain or show or demonstrate what we did to make it a little better, but it was still extremely tasty. Um, we kept that second layer of cake and the leftover cheesecake that we had, and we still have been putting cheesecake and cake together and just eating it that way. It's so good cold. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna run it back again. I wanna add more sugar next time. Um, I am going to add the cherries next time even though I don't like them just for aesthetics because I just think it'll look cooler and I'm definitely going to do the cheesecake um, oven method rather than doing like the easy bake cheesecake um, where the no bake cheesecake actually so we'll try it again we'll run it back like I said I ain't a baker and I don't want nobody coming for me in the comments if you have tips for baking this type of like dessert let me know but just don't come for me because this isn't my expertise. We were just trying something and it saved us a few dollars. Um, currently, I, Mama's gone. She made us the baked potato soup. It was extremely good. We still have some leftovers. It was perfect because it snowed. And I don't know. It was just like the perfect sweater, weather, cozy, sit on the couch, watch a little TV type of day. Now, tonight, I know this is going to seem like we're like on a cooking show on this up, on this uh, video, but really, it's easier to talk to y'all while I'm in the process of cooking and in the kitchen. So tonight, I'm just making some fried shrimp, some pinko breaded fried shrimp. Not necessarily fried, they're going to be air fried, so I don't know if that counts. And then Kyle's putting together the asparagus, and we bought some potato wedges, and that's dinner for tonight. Should be really quick and fast. It's 8.13. I think these are going to be like super fast in the air fryer. So whatever. I figured I would talk to y'all as I cook though today since we haven't had a time to like, I haven't really had time to like talk to y'all too much in detail, small talk, whatever, updates on the house. Clearly you see that we have new Roman shades in here if I haven't talked about them already. Kyle put this up maybe about a couple months ago. But as you know, we were like on a little bit of a hiatus um, for, from YouTube. Just a lot of stuff going on. And we are just busy in the best way I can put that. So we haven't really had time to do much outside of Christmas shopping. And now that that holiday season is over, I mean, I love the holiday season, but... Um, it definitely occupied a lot of the funds that we used on a month-to-month -month basis for going into the house. We didn't want our family members to feel like oh, we didn't care because we kind of we kind of skimped out on the Christmas 2023. Was that no 2022's Christmas? We kind of skimped out because we were about to get into the house in February. <clears throat> so we wanted to really make sure that we did that this year, but now we're getting back into the swing of things. 
continuing along with the house plans. And yeah, as you've seen in the Christmas vlog, my nieces and nephews, well, at least the ones that are here. Y'all, this air fryer is so annoying. My nieces and nephews that live here in Texas, I shouldn't say still here, they are originally from Chicago. Um, they came over, they are wild. And I don't know, I was that, I'm the youngest of five kids. And I was always forced to babysit. So when they're over, it's like I'm making the choice to see them, right? Like, I'm seeing them because I want to. But I didn't used to have that option. All my siblings, I have 15 nieces and nephews, y'all. 14, 15, I don't even know at this point. Basically, when I see them now, I'm making the choice to see them. So when I see them... It's not too often, even though they only live like 15 minutes away. Let me know if you think that's bad. I really, I shouldn't say I don't care if you do think it's bad, but just because it's not going to change my opinion at all. Um, let me know how you feel that the responsibility of an aunt, that's what I want to know. What is? What do you think an aunt's responsibility is? Like, I enjoy it so much, making it fun for the kids, making the hot cocoa, the gingerbread. I love, like, the crafty things, so that was something I really wanted to do. But their little attitudes makes me want to not do it again. And I feel like that definitely can be controlled or tailored, and it might change as they get older. But I'm going to just wait for that. I'm going to wait for them to get a little older before we do that again, at least with that group of kids i'll just put it that way um but overall i love the idea of making gingerbread homes and i love the idea of doing the hot chocolate everybody like order your type of hot chocolate that you want i thought that was so cute um and can't wait to do that with our own kids one day so then i don't have to worry about anybody else's kids oh i want to update y'all on so the pantry we did not do the pantry um because the first off i didn't buy nearly enough of like containers and that was mainly because although I took the video prior to going into Target I wasn't like sold 100% on the ones that I was purchasing I really probably should have um, looked everywhere other than Target because I really didn't know what the price range that I was like trying to stick to but now that I do I have found some more clear containers on Amazon that I'm gonna purchase and they actually have gold handles on it so let me backtrack the black containers the black wire ones that I got from Target there was two options I can option one keep them and spray paint them so that they can be gold and wooden wire inside of the pantry which I like that option but like why do you buy something just to change it immediately and it wasn't like they were like dollar store cheap so I don't know if that's a viable option <clears throat> or I can just go on Amazon and buy just plain gold wire ones and that just sounds smarter <laughs> versus spray painting just because I want that wood wooden handle so anyways the overall aesthetic that I'm trying to go for in there is acrylic, gold wired, and wooden inside the pantry. Eventually, we want to like completely redo that pantry. Like I want to have some cabinets in there. That would be amazing so that I can hide all of my stupid appliances. I'm an appliance hoarder, basically. At this point, that's what it looks like. I don't try to be, but that's what it looks like. Um... And I think cabinets would really solve that issue. However, that's not in the funds or the plans as of now. So we're just going to make it as pretty as we can with what we got. We got to make it work. Make it work. So yeah, I want to show y'all the ones that I found. I found some really nice wooden ones on Amazon as well because we went to Walmart to find some more of the home edit. What are they? Storage containers that we already had but I couldn't find any more. And when I go online, I can't find the exact ones that we have. So I just went on Amazon's 
I just went on Amazon and I found some similar ones and that's what we're going to work with. So I got to order all that this weekend is my plan to order it and we'll see how that goes. I know I showed y'all the this dish rack here and I said I wasn't going to keep it but I got the dogs this cute little treat container because right now we're operating treats just out of the little plastic baggie and I'm so tired of it so I bought this copper and gold um, treat container and it made the dish rack tie in a lot better so now gold and copper is kind of gold, gold copper and wood is the theme in the kitchen and it works perfectly and I'm happy about it so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna start implementing some copper pieces in here along with the gold still keeping up with the wood oh probably I don't foresee acrylic being in here but obviously a lot of things will make a lot more sense once we finally get this backsplash up to be honest we got to get this backsplash up to make it all make sense we have our one year review coming up this is we're in January so our one year review will actually be at the end of February so we're starting to Kyle started his own little list I'm so proud of him and so happy that he thought to do this <clears throat> a list of all the things that we need to have them fix um, before the warranty is up which we have finally started to discover all of the nail pops there I think it was the cold weather that did it honestly um, but we have nail pops that they need to take care of and also the baseboards are starting to split and we're like getting slight cracks along the wall. But with that list, uh, we just want to make sure that they don't miss anything. That's the main thing. Kind of chuckling a little bit in my head because I was talking about the cabinets in one of my videos a while back. Um, if you haven't watched like our maybe like our first week in the home videos, I encourage you to go back and watch those because the home building process and then the move-in process was, I don't know, it was a fun time. So if you'd like to see that, make sure you go back and watch. But anyways, I was talking about the cabinets in those videos and I was talking about how, like, how much I didn't like them, how long it was taking them to come back and fix things. They have scratches on them, like just so many imperfections that I, didn't anticipate having with a new home somebody wrote in the comments that like you should get it fixed now and make sure that you like get it up to the standards that you want or you'll be disappointed for a very long time and they're right because here we are almost a year later and I still hate the cabinets like I really do I, I hate them I tell Kyle often how much I want to change them and it's just like not in the plans right now to have them change but I wish they were just done right the first time. So if there's something in your house that you don't like, I know personally, I just got tired of complaining about the same thing to the like the project manager, knowing that he wasn't gonna like take all the cabinets down. Like I just know that it wasn't a viable option. Did you ever think that was a viable option? Correct. Right. That's why I think no matter what the fix is, you, you weren't satisfied with the quality of the cabinets. Yeah, the quality so. of the cabinets are just not what I thought was going to come in our brand new home. Like, I kept saying they look like apartment cabinets to me. Or just like a cheap house. We paid too much money for them to look the way they do. But like, at the end of the day, when I go back and I look at the model home, I see the imperfections in the model home that I didn't see before. It's not going to get better with this builder it's not going to get better they're never going to make them the way that i want the setup in here of how the cabinets are set up will never be the way that i want it just is what it is at this point so i gotta kind of check up that bill and deal with it i feel like there's little things that we can do like we're definitely going to get the oven range switched out which will make me feel a little bit better um and we might take out the cap cabinets right above the oven range that might also make me feel a little bit better but at the end of the day it's just not what I was hoping for we'll talk more about all of that house stuff Kyle and I are gonna do a whole sit down with y'all of a one-year review sorry my hands look disgusting um, do a whole one-year review with you so
Saturdays um and so Saturday evenings through the rest of the week will be what you will see on the vlogs my goal is really just to start getting organized like all day all week I've just been trying to figure out I know I'm like what is this week three into the new year going into week three or week three and I'm really just trying to figure out how I can get back into my schedule and my organization now that we're completely in this new home we've been in here for almost a year and I really got to find my footing um I would say that like whew, that like the last three months have been very trying for me just as a woman and I don't know how to say it like just trying to find my footing um, having a hard time getting organized, having a hard time sticking to my plans and my schedules. It's like I'm fearful of even creating the schedule because I don't want to disappoint myself. Let me know if you know what I'm trying to say. Like, I don't even, sometimes I got to a point where I didn't want, want to write things down because I was afraid that I wasn't going to be able to A, complete it or things wouldn't happen. So I like just stopped 100%. Hopefully the lighting's okay. Anyways cleaning up at the same time so just bear with me um so yeah I really have to get over that fear of in that procrastination that I'm going through because I know we all go through these moments but like wrap it up baby girl you gotta wrap this up I'm giving myself the ick and that's not cool like I wrote in my journal that I want to be a better wife to Kyle in terms of like Kyle he washes the dishes he washes the laundry and I mean those are really his main chores he washes the dishes he washes the laundry he puts away the dishes he folds the laundry he does everything regarding the laundry and like I am more of the tidier upper and obviously like keeping the house into its cozy mood but like I just feel like I've been slacking and that's my role and I never want to be the person giving the other the ick so we're gonna fix this and in order to fix this I bought well I already had a planner that I've been using since uh, 2023 I'm using my 2023 planner that runs through 2024 I don't know how far it goes it goes through June okay so anyways this is my planner it's cute simple I want to say it's either from Target or Walmart day designer I think this is from Walmart actually so it wasn't expensive at all um, the inside just looks like wait, I know um, and then let me just show you what the month to month looks like so this is like July of 2023 I'm generally very active in my calendar so the fact that I have been slacking really sucks and then this is what the day-to-day -day looks like the pages so anyways I go in here and I generally at the beginning of each month I put all the big names meaning like all the big things that I have going on for the month and then that I know of at the beginning of the month but the times and everything down all in one color and then I go in with a different color on my to do's or things that I want to accomplish over the entire period of the month so those are like bigger to do's or longer to do's that will take the period of a month and then I also go through at the beginning of the month with my budget so like I said obviously we're in the middle of January and I am doing that this year I'm getting back into the groove of doing that this year um but better late than never because we got to get out of this. We don't want to be the girl who is given the ick. Yeah, <laughs> we ain't doing that. I keep saying ick because I've been watching Love Island and I'm addicted. When I start a season, oh, I don't put it down. I watch that thing until we're at the finale. 
and I will watch the reunion. Why did USA season, I want to say five, whatever, this August 2023 USA um, Love Island, why didn't they do a reunion? Because I would really like to know where they're at now because it seemed like a lot of them were well off, like on their way together. If you watch Love Island, chime in in the comments because I can talk about it all day, every day. Right now I'm watching UK season nine and I don't really like it. So it's just been playing in the background, but it gives me something to do while I work. Anyways, back to this. So I went on Amazon and I will link these in the description box below. And I bought these cute little aesthetically pleasing pastel uh, pens and highlighters with this purple. Look at that, that's so beautiful. And they have like this sage green and they write so smooth. These pens are 0.5s. They write so smooth. It almost comes off like a gel pen. I don't know. I love them. We'll see what, like how long they last. Um, but if you want them and would like to, like to see where I got them, the link will be in the description box below. And then I also bought off of Amazon <clears throat> this cute little, um, I don't know, I want to call it like a binder for my sticky notes. Um, and I go through and I tab. So I'll write like my budget on this one. And then I'll write like, I put it as like my current thoughts. I write a long thing of current thoughts on here. Um, I can't show y'all what I did for this session only because there's a lot of really intimate and personal things in there that I'm just not ready to share. Um, but maybe I'll come back and share them later on. Um, and these, this one and these ones are transparent, which I love because I can see the calendar. Let me show y'all what I mean. I can see the calendar underneath it. So whatever I write, it doesn't get covered up. Because it's transparent. Isn't that so cool? Gingerbread party at 5 p.m. <laughs> but isn't that so cute? So yeah, I would recommend these. Business plans that we have for last year, yeah, they were set and put into motion and Kyle and I uh, utilized our business plan journals. I really just wish I would have stuck to what we discussed because I would have been a lot further along in the business like in our business journey than what we are now. But it's okay, better late than never is the, mo the motto right now. And I'm not going to beat myself up too much about it because we gotta keep going. So <clears throat> I'm planning on this year really getting back organized. I'm planning on getting our business, making a, um, a good that's the best word I can put give it right now a good income from our business um, just getting more consistent on YouTube like that's the only goal I have I just want to be more consistent I want to realize that YouTube, YouTube does provide some source of income to me and that it is a job but I have to take it seriously like a job so that is I just gotta stay consistent in order to reap the fruits the benefits of the reap the fruits from my I don't know my pastor used to say it in church and it sounded good but I can't say it in, I, I can't remember it. sorry girl before we close out the vlog I woke up this morning to get the cleaning up in this kitchen I'm gonna clean up the kitchen I have stuff to put away that has been waiting to be put up but since I'm not tall I have been waiting on Kyle to do it but it's just best that I just do it myself so I'm gonna put it in the cabinet I'm gonna put that up but I also wanted to take y'all to the pantry because that's where we're gonna close it out and that's where we're gonna hopefully open up this pantry's so embarrassing like look at this thing It's such a mess. We are going to keep these. These acrylic ones are going to stay. 
And then we already have these. These are my, I want to say my small ones. My small wooden containers. So we got that going on. Then I want to add, like I talked about, the gold wire ones. And then we have a bigger wooden one. Yeah. So, is that this one? Y'all, I got this for $1. Like, it says the Home Edit Walmart exclusive, but they're not selling them anymore. And it sucks. I'm going to have to pay like $15 for two now. My goal right now is really to come in here, count how many of each thing that I want, and I'm just going to write down on a sticky note, um, like, what would go in an acrylic container, what would go in a wired basket, and then what would go in a wooden basket. And then, I don't know, can y'all see? Yeah, you can. These, they're three-tiered um, stands where I keep my food cans, and honestly, I like it that way. I don't think I'm going to, I'm going to add one more because we generally do have a lot of cans, and just so it can take up this section of the pantry. Um... But I think I want to keep the cans just like that. We're not really a pop drinking household. But when we do, it's like Olipop or what's the other one? Is it Poppy? I don't know. Normally, it's just like a prebiotic uh, soda that we will have in here. So I do think I'm going to get some wired stands that allow those pop cans to sit in here comfortably. So let's quickly just go get our notes hopefully my battery let's see okay so we're gonna quickly go get our notepad and we're gonna write down how many of each that we need we're gonna buy them off of amazon i'll link them below and maybe we can put our pantry together together how about that that'd be fun i'm coming on this camera looking like somebody's granny um, but y'all we keep it real on this channel this is how i wake up in the morning hello <laughs> Another reason why we're getting back into like writing in our notes and organizing, one, it gives you a peace of mind, but two, there are a million things that go on in this brain at a time. Like immediately, as soon as I picked this up, I was like, but my butler's pantry needs containers for all of my syrups. That's not in the plans for this week, Brandy. You're just not buying that this week. It's not happening. And I was also thinking, I was like, I want new um, holders for the soap, the dishwashing soap, and also like the hand soap that's on the sink. Stay focused. So for house plans, I'm really trying to figure out, I know we're about to buy the TV console. I've mentioned that already. Um, hopefully I've showed it to y'all. If not, I can put it here now. Um going to definitely purchase that so that's a big purchase definitely want to start finishing out that family room area or what do you call that Kyle calls it the den um and then I also want to start building the floating shelves that go the floating shelves that are going in the kitchen by the window that already has the uh, Roman shade by it then we need to buy the Roman shade okay I'm getting over it. there's so much to do but I gotta take it bite 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 you know bite by bite by bite, bite there's no reason for me to be rushing everything okay so I have a bunch of teas let's see how many acrylic things fit in. do I like that It'll also come where are my other teas here see they're everywhere right now I feel like I can see them pretty well so acrylic yeah that's fine so we got one two three four Four fit comfortably, and then there's like that corner space. Okay, so the corner spaces, so four of these. For the corner spaces, I'm going to do like um, Lazy Susan. So I'm going to do one, two, wait, 
one, two, three, four Lazy Susans. Should I have, I think I want like my breads and things in the wooden ones. So we already have five. All right, so we're only going to buy. All right, we got to look on Pinterest because I want to see how I want it to look. Am I going to intertwine? All right, we're going to buy four more wooden open you open you basket so basically the open you is just how it's shaped in the front you know that you i want to be able to see inside of it it's things on this shelf is very hard for me to see so i definitely need to put acrylic up here because i'm too short more of that story then my cereals what do we put cereals in i mean we can put them in the jars okay we normally have two to three cereals at a time but then we also have lots of pasta so I need to buy a total of five, nah, more than that because we have grits and oatmeal. So I'm going to buy six acrylic jars for now. Four narrow wired baskets and then like dry stuff just needs to be organized that way. There's like an organizer for your plastic ba baggies. Yeah, I don't know. I have these cute little wooden bowls. I usually use them to serve, um, but I might put those to use. But like, y'all, we have so much pasta. This is crazy. I think this will work to start. That is all for this video, y'all. I am going to have a great day, a very productive day. We're gonna clean today. I think Kayo and I are gonna go to the museum today. He said he wanted to, we'll see. And we're making our household budget and um, listing out our goals for this new year. So, I love y'all so much. I hope y'all have a blessed day, a blessed week. I thank y'all for sticking with me because I have been struggling. And I just hope you understand that I'm trying. And this house, you guys are going to keep watching it unfold. I have so many plans. Oh, for that formal living room, I found the table that we want. It's about to go crazy, honestly. Like you, you've heard the vision. Y'all about to start seeing the vision for real, for real. Like you've seen it in the living room come to life. You've seen it in the powder bathroom. Thank y'all for the love on the powder bathroom as well. That's all I got. Don't forget to like this video. Give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel and hit that ring, 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 ring so that you know the next time we post a video. I love y'all so much. Have a blessed day. Peace. <laughs>